AccuStats Video Production proudly presents the Roanoke One Pocket Open. Here I am. My name is Buddy Hall. I'm with my very best friend in life, Mr. W.W. W. Woody. We're playing a One Pocket Tournament, the first annual One Pocket Open in Roanoke, Virginia. We're playing on Kim Steele tables at the Guys and Dolls Billiard Hall. And our special guest, the producers of this event, are Grady Matthews and Julian Robertson. We're here watching one of the finest matchups that we'll ever see on AccuStats, the match that everybody, all the AccuStats subscribers, have been looking for. This is Billy Johnson, I mean, Billy and Cardona and Grady Matthews. They are playing for eternal bragging rights. <laughs> and not to mention that they're, whoever wins this match advances to the finals in this, in this match, in this tournament. Well, this is the match we've been looking for. Woody, you got any predictions? Oh, boy. I want to lay off of predictions. I'm just going to wait and see what happens here. Uh, both <laughs> of them are woofing at each other. And <laughs> Grady said... Uh, if I lose this match, it'll be good incentive for uh, incentive for the retirement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I've already made the statement that the winner of this match, his long distance phone bill, will be at least 500 more this month than the previous month. Okay. <laughs> oh, Billy had a prediction, by the way. He oh. said, if I win this match, I predict Grady will never do another AccuStat video with me. He <laughs> said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're playing on Kim Steele tables, Kim Steele USA. These are, these are the finest pool tables that money can buy. They are solid as a rock. They play great. They don't roll off. This is the finest equipment I've ever seen a one-pocket tournament or any other match played on. Uh, here we are. We're off and running. Billy and Cardona won the lag. He's broken. He seems to have broken the balls very well. And here's our first shot to retrieve an advantage. Okay. And he's done that nicely. Done it very well. Very well. Okay. Woody, what do you do well, from here, Bob? Yeah, what do you do from here? Two ball to two ball. Well, you can't give up four up. Two ball to the end rail and back behind the six, maybe. With a little. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Touchy, but it's a shot. Or the six, the two ball across, just lay the cue ball against the ten. That's a possibility. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He has a little bit of a dilemma here, but Billy, he's uh, he's such a an inventive player that I'm sure that right now he's uh, noticed by this time he's noticed two or three options. It's just a question of which he prefers. Now he's going to take the bank because he feels like it's free. The only way he'll sell out is to go all the way across table to leave him a shot at the six. If he doesn't do that, then this is a free game. shot. Okay, it was pretty free. Right. Now, Grady may like to shoot this combination. I don't know. It's uh, depending on how it looks to him. If he missed the 10, spin yeah. it over on the other side of the 13. That's right. He has to be able to miss the 10 in order to shoot this ball. Another option that he has is shooting the 10 right now, nipping the, uh, shooting the 14 and playing the cue ball two rails up by the 13. He didn't get it up high enough. Oh, if he got him in between the 13 and three, it'd been a great shot. Yeah. Now Billy has a chance to really gain an advantage here. He can shoot right into the, into the 14 ball, play the cue ball behind the six, actually play position on the six. He has that option there. He elected not to go behind it, which I think is a mistake because he left Grady a, an offensive shot at the four. I mean, at the 14. Do you play this ball off the three or into the four? I think on, on, into the four. Into the four. You're moving three balls toward your pocket. Yeah, you can drag the cue ball behind the 13, protect anything over in your hole. Maybe you even play this below. Come off the back side. And, and kiss and get a little ticky off the 10. Right. And uh, play the 14 year old. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> uh, he played straight into it. He played your first shot, which it can't be. It can't get it. Where is it they say it just doesn't get much better than that? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I believe he's going to be shooting at the 12 ball here. 
Yeah, just follow it to the end rail. Or maybe stick it. No, can't stick him. He's got three. Yeah, I think he'll follow it to the end rail here. Follow he doesn't have much rail. choice. What he's got to do is he's just got to survive the shot. He has to try to survive this shot. at the 13 it looks like but he looked at it he don't know if he wants to do that or not he's seen those he's no, played so a, much pool with the filipinos he's thinking he can cut anything in boy take a surgeon <laughs> to cut that ball in yeah he's in a spot here he has to figure out a way to play safe i mean he's definitely has to be very careful right here he has a multitude of options really he can uh uh if he if he can shoot the nine and stick to the top or maybe even a little to the right hand side of the five, he can come off of the seven, the seven. You know, he can move a lot of balls. But he's going to take our first shot. He's just going to go to the end rail with the 12. He'll probably take the 15 a little bit. If that shot, I, I believe he's okay. Now Grady will shoot the shot off the three. I believe he'll come off the three ball. Or the 13. He may come off the 13 with the three, sending the cue ball into the 5 8. And protecting the pocket. Grady. Uh, yeah. Uh, Grady has, this is the first time I've seen Billy out managed that well. Grady has moved all the balls off of Billy's side onto his. Yeah. Billy will. Uh, <coughs> I can't nick, tell who broke the, the balls. Yeah, and he'll nick the 14 here and get behind the three. Is that the shot? No, he's not. He's going, down. he's going up table. There's nothing goes in this hole here with the exception of maybe the... Ooh, Ooh boy. Ooh, nice. Boy. Dude, yeah. That's cue ball. There. That's cue ball play right it there. It sure is. That is really playing. To come that ball. close to that 10, oh. if he just touched that 10, it could have been disastrous. And Grady likes to shoot shots like this. He'll come off of the four, not moving the four very far. Well, okay, he's going to use the three. He likes to come off of the four here, not moving the four very far. Go to straight to the side rail with reverse English to judge him back into the five. Mm -hmm. So he'll probably use the four ball here and try to come right up against the five ball. He likes to use a little touch of right-hand English here to kind of give him. No, he's going. He, he's moved. He's going off of the eight. Oh, the 15. The 15. He wants to be to the top side of it. That's a better shot yet because that kept him off of the 14. Now, Grady has balls up, balls down, and balls blocking. This is an ideal spot for one pocket player. Sure is. He has the 10 and the 6 up. He has the 14 and the 3 down. He has balls blocking the path to any of those balls. So he really has Billy in a predicament here. Billy may try to shoot the same shot that he shot last game, or last shot, trying to come off of the 15 down below the 3, but that's an awful risky shot. I believe Billy's going to have to try to rearrange the furniture here. Yeah, here's definitely a shot where the furniture is not to Billy's advantage here. Uh, how, how's the five look? Kiss off the eight and the eight to the end rail. He's knocked the three away, follow the cue ball. I mean, am I? Well, I don't think he has the angle to do that. He's a little too straight for that. Uh, what he may do here is just knock the 12 in. No, he's going to three rail the 13. He's going to two rail the 13, sending the cue ball over around the 12. See, nothing goes, if he stays over to that side, nothing goes in this hole. Grady can't shoot the 10 here because of the way it lays. I mean, he can't even real first shoot the 10. It's suicidal to do that. He's going to. Real well, first to 10. Boy, that was dangerous. But he hit that ball kind of thin, too, and still. So if he would have hit it properly, he would have went right on over there, I believe. Okay, does the four go? The four goes, but uh, yeah, the four goes. Okay. Okay, tickle, make it dead. <laughs> Did it make it dead? Yep. 
great. He hasn't looked yet. He doesn't have to look. He has a million yeah, balls to go in his hole if he can just right. get above the 13. He's, this game should be over. Okay, he's. Uh, How many balls he got now? Uh, he's got four. He's got four. Five. He has five. He's playing for three. <laughs> playing for three. One's dead. Or the eight's dead. He's playing for three. He just wants to make sure that he. Ooh, boy. Oh. Boy, that makes you want to bite a stick in two. It sure does. Bite two sticks in two. I saw a guy named David Sizemore miss a ball like that once. He bit his ferro off. As an <laughs> ivory ferro, he bit it plumb off of his cue. <laughs> he was taking aim at a lamppost one time. Yeah, Somebody was. said, I'll give you 200 for that stick. And he said, no, 200 won't save it. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Oh, man, <laughs> boy. Well, yeah, it was great. He's uh, going to tease Billy now. <laughs> He's, uh, he might play the five here if it goes. Well, that's two opportunities that he may never have again. Yeah. That was really two golden, golden, golden opportunities. He's got to shoot this because he's got to break up the 10, the eight. Yeah. See, Grady didn't even look at the eight. It's dead in George Washington. That could have been a fatal miss there. Yeah. Disastrous anyway. Because if anything, we learned the last match in Cardona played, uh, boy, he's a wrestler. You know? I see. Maybe yeah. the eight's dead. Maybe the eight is even dead. If the eight's dead, he can clear and clear the holes and everything else. He's shooting. Oh, well, he's just bound to determine he's going to he's going to lose this game, and that's all there is to it. There's nothing anybody can do about it. Looked like he forgot what pocket he had. <laughs> yeah. He has to shoot the five. I, I would. I thought he had to shoot the five. Yeah. Three-way combo. Mm. Yeah. Okay, he's playing for two. Playing for one. And game number one is in the book. In the book. Grady out wrestling. Grady return of serve here. Grady broke serve. Now he gets to break. Uh, that's what you have to do playing a good player. You have to break serve at least once. Uh, well, at least if if you lose the lag, you have to break serve once. Mm, that lag is big. Oh boy. Ooh, he almost nipped. <laughs> he almost nipped two. Almost caught him. <clears throat> Better probably just use the one here. The one ball, since he has the. Uh, and pull the cue ball. Right. Up. Since nothing to go over here, he'll have to just uh, jockey here for a shot. He can't hardly, he can't stay up high. Right. I he's mean, got to if, pull if the cue ball up the rail. Right. Bit. If he's going to stay high, he has to go way high. He can't stay right there because if he does, all Grady will do is come off the six ball and bury him. Right. Ideally, if he could park it between the end rail and the 11. But he's shooting something else, buddy. Wow, look at this. He thought he, he had a dead one. Yeah, he played the two. Thought he had a dead one. <clears throat> now Grady has a golden opportunity to snatch up the second game. Okay. He may have to play, he may have to shoot the six. Boy, these tables play great. They these let you play. play. They sure do. They, they let, let you stretch your stroke out. Yeah, they let you play. Okay, he wants to come all the way to the end rail area. He wants to pick off this 11 and move out just a little bit for the 10. Okay, that's done very well. Nice stay a little to the left of the 15. I mean, to your right. He wanted to have an angle to come across the play position on the 9 or the 12. He's playing for two. Playing for two. One, 
Playing for one. He is off to the races, ladies and gentlemen. He takes a two to zero lead, two to nothing, in favor of Mr. Grady Matthews, playing for bragging rights for the rest, bragging rights for the rest of their lives, plus second place in the Roanoke <laughs> One Pocket Open. Uh, I'm loving this. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wanting to see this match. I can't tell you how long I've been wanting to see this match. And I know that every one of Pat's customers, the AccuStats video customers, will want to order this tape. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I, I was speculating about uh, the prospects of this match coming about last night. This match right here it might is. just become a business. <laughs> <laughs> All jokes aside, but seriously speaking here, this is that we have been looking for this match. Well, we really been looking forward to it. And <clears throat> we're not being disappointed. We're watching very excellent one pocket. Yeah, great. He's looking like secretariat here he in sure the first is. two games. Yeah. He sure is. See, it's no good just to stop there, just to bunt. The, the three is no good because he just plays off of the eight and buries you, sticks you in there where you, where people are really checked for their ability. He may have a shot to come off of the side of the 15 with the nine. And stick him right there in the stack. He yeah. wants to be very careful not to hit, not to hit the one eight. Okay, he's going. He's doing it another way. He's banking the eight, the eleven across, trying to go into the six. Oh, what a wow, shot! Wow, what a wow. shot! Very that's creative one pocket, that's isn't it? Creative, very imaginative there. Yeah, that's creative one pocket right there. Now yeah, he couldn't come off that uh, fifteen with a nine that last shot without hitting the one eight. That's yeah. uh, why he went that way. Right. Oh, great. Woody, here's your shot. He 4 rail to 15. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy. 4 rail to 15. Go over to the side rail, back into the side of the stack. Ooh. And kill it. And kill it. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> he may. I guess he's going to deal with these right now. He's going to move them out. So you have to be really careful here uh -huh. not to sell out a shot on the two. I think he's left him a, a shot at the two that he can just shoot straight in at it. He came across a little too far over. If he didn't leave him a shot at two, he left him a shot at the three. I, well, I he's think gonna, he's going to shoot two. Well, I uh, do too. He, he's, he probably make the two, and he's going to move balls. Now he's, he's playing to move balls. That's yeah, mainly right. what he's doing. He, he's moving balls, playing position, doing all that stuff. Now he has. What? What would? Where would? <clears throat> the ideal place for him to to land here would be position on the 12-15, to where he has an option to shoot at either the 12 or the 15, whichever whichever one he would prefer to shoot. Uh, if he can get another shot by shooting the 12, he will. I think his 12. The 12 is the best shot here, I believe. He may be able to just draw his cue ball back, hitting the nine full and still being able to get it on back for position on the 15. He's going forward. He's not drawing it. Oh, he could go right into him. He uh -huh. has ended up with nothing. That's a little hard luck. A little hard luck. He went into the balls nicely. Now he has to deal with uh, the ball closest to Grady's pocket, I would think, unless he can just nip the one and maybe go up close to the side pocket. But in order for that shot to be effective, he has to put the one out in play to keep him off of the 15. I would say he'll probably just bump the 14 out. He may have the three rail shot at the third at the three shoot the three go three rails with the cue ball he may have that hmm well. i believe he'll deal with the 14 maybe even kick him behind it softly 
That's, yeah, that's the shot that I like. Just go behind it, just bump it lightly. If you happen to scratch well, so what? You just put it up. All right. You know, just go to the side rail and bump the 14 real gently from this back side here. Very low risk shot there. Low risk, high percentage. You see the shot from the overhead monitor. If the cue ball goes to the side rail, almost at the point, into the back of the 14, just barely nudging the 14. That leaves him balls up and balls down with him snookered on those balls. It's always good to have one up and one down and your opponent block from them because yeah. that creates problems. It makes your opponent get in between them, be forced to get in between them. Uh -huh. That's a good picture. That's a good picture right there. Yes, it is. That's a good picture. I wish we could frame that one, ladies and gentlemen, put it on our wall right there. That's a beautiful picture. <laughs> yeah. You could put a caption under that picture. Do you think we're here to have fun or what? <laughs> <laughs> or name it, he will or won't. <laughs> he will or won't. He has another option here. He can go off of the off of the 15 and, and drop him up in that corner. You can drop him up there in that corner. I don't think Grady can just haul off a whack. Uh, no, he's uh, he's shooting. Uh, he might be shooting your shot, buddy. I oh, know he's lagging down there. And nothing wrong with that shot, right there as I can see, well, right on the end rail. Hmm. What's wrong with that shot? Well. Maybe nothing. Maybe if the nine comes off of the, where the nine, where does the nine come off of the seven? You know, I don't know. Well, I think Grady's going to bank the three across. Just go. He'll want to come on down though. He'll. Yeah, cue ball around the side. There's pocket. another shot. Side There's pocket. that's a good shot right, right there. Right there, kiss off the five. Kiss off the, the five. five. Drop the cue ball all Very the way to the end shot. rail. Want to hit it softly. Ooh. Ooh, he hit it a little too hard. He hit a little harder than he intended. He was trying to hit that ball quite a bit softer than what he hit it there. Now he left great, uh, Billy an opportunity to maybe get back in the hunt here. I think after he looks around, he'll go ahead and shoot the five. The only thing that could detour him from that maybe would be the bridge. If he has to use the bridge, he may not shoot at it. Well, now he can shoot it to seven, hit to 14, pull his cue ball down around third down and down. You know? mm -hmm. I think he's going to go. Good go. things could happen on a shot like that. Yeah, that's, a, that's an option. I think according to our monitor there, he's going to have to shoot the five. He's going he's gonna to go for the for the kill. He's going to. Go ahead and try to hit him in the heart here. Uh, boy. Boy, boy, boy. Gracious pocket, gracious pocket. Let's say shooting that shot, uh, yeah, he can lose by missing that shot, but the prospect of him winning the game are so great by shooting that shot. Yeah, okay. Billy, Billy is one of those guys that he plays to win. He doesn't play not to lose. Right. You know? Now here, I, I believe that Billy has no choice but to play position on the nine. Not on the one. Play position on the nine ball. He don't want to over hit it. He, he's, he's about right. Now he just come off over with a, a little bit of a high left ball. Yeah, opens little... everything up and shoots the one next or the ten. Yep. Nudge the eight a little. Yeah. The only thing he has to be concerned about is blocking the one with the ten. And nice shooting. He's These guys are playing nice. Boy, yeah, they are. We've been looking forward to watching this match.
Two to one. Two to one. In, in favor of Mr. Grady Matthews, who is now affectionately known as Slick. <laughs> <laughs> I walked up to him in the parking lot and I said, wax on, wax off. You know, the karate kid. <laughs> yeah. Big game there. Billy maintained serve. And Grady has broken the ball very well here. Yeah, give it up. What do you do, bud? Uh, come off the two? Well, if, uh, if, if he can, if he can hit the top side of the 10 ball, I like that shot. Uh, just coming off the top side to 10 and dropping him over behind the 15. But if he can't, see, I don't like this shot because you have to semi draw it, you know, He's going in order to the miss five. the five. In order to miss the five, you have to hit it below the center of the cue ball. And now you, that pocket down there comes into such play. You can't get uh, from the two uh, behind the 15 without touching the five. You think? Well, you, you, you can't uh, go to the side rail and come up behind the 15 there. You have to hit below the center of the cue ball in order to do that. And that makes this shot difficult because of such a, you have to hold such a true and true perfect line. line. Yeah. Now he may be thinning, what he may be thinking about there was just billiard the cue off of the two into the five, banking the five over and going to the end rail. He might have, I mean, going to the side rail. Mm -hmm. Evidently, he doesn't have the shot off of the 10 ball, so he's going to, See, he, boy, that was a nice shot. That, yeah. that was a very, very well executed shot right, right there. Because believe me, you had to execute that shot. That was not a gimme. All right. If you notice the, the action of the cue ball, the way the cue ball came off. It was the only shot I could see there, though. Yeah. But I'm sure that Billy's glad it's over. Yeah. yeah. I think Grady might take a scratch here. He, he's in a spot. You may take a scratch. His only other option is to leave Billy end to end dead straight in. I think he take it, just bump it here to the rail, just touch it like so, trying to get Billy in as deep as he can so it's not mm. just an automatic hanger. Okay. Tap, tap, tap. Let's see. Okay, one more time. Try not to give up the shot. Okay. It's going to be, it isn't going to be long now before he needs. Now, got to do something now. one and he will owe three or four before he'll relinquish this spot <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's just not gonna do that Billy took one now they are going backwards going out backwards now now they both need nine <coughs> Billy is playing a very high. Okay, that's two. That's two. Now they're playing. Keep in mind now that three fouls in a row, you automatically lose the game. Automatically. Now Billy can come off of his foul. He's no longer on a foul. Now Grady has to shoot now. He cannot foul. He cannot foul. He has to go. Oh, boy. He has got to come between that 14 and 10 somehow. Oh. 
Boy, he was in a tough spot there. He sure was. He certainly was. Well, he opened balls up to Grady's side. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no, he's not happy with that. He's he would much rather have uh, just left a ball or two on his side. But he he got such a powerful stroke when he hits the ball. He, well, right the, here, he buddy. gets a lot of action. Right here, buddy. What, what, what do you think about here? Are you concentrating on the fourteen, ten, two in your hole, or is that five, twelve over there uh, on Grady's side? Do you, you you try to do something with those balls over there and? Get them over towards your well, side. Well, I don't shoot the 14 here. I shoot the 10 first. I shoot the 10 play position on the two, hoping to lay a little to the inside of it. Mm -hmm. That way, I can come down, maybe maybe bump those balls, but I then I can play position on the 14 uh, next to my last shot. So I don't like doing it this way because now you have no more options down here. When you get to the two, you've mm -hmm. only got one choice. One way to go. And I don't believe he's going to do that anyway. <laughs> he's overhit it. Yeah. He overhit it. Now he has to play to the ball you were talking about. I believe <clears throat> I believe he'll just two rail the five out and follow the cue ball down, maybe even all the way to the end rail, putting the five on his side of the table. If he can hit the five, he may not be able to hit the five. Yeah, he may shoot to 12. Got to yeah. take care of the five. You got to yeah. think about the five yeah. if you're going to cross the 12. Right. right. He has he has the same Made shot rail with the 12. Yeah, he has the same shot with the 12 that he has with the five. Right. Two rail yeah, and 12 it. into the stack. I, see, I think he would have rather moved to two rails past the stack instead of into the stack. Okay, Billy got even and has two to the good. And Grady's still in debt, too. <laughs> Billy and Grady, uh, they, <laughs> they just want to play. They, they both want to win this match so bad because neither one of them would be able to live with the other one if he oh. happens to lose. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I predict that their long distance phone bill, the winner of this match, will go up at least 500. Oh, they'll send each other get well cards, <laughs> flowers, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Okay, he went right back into the cue ball. Ooh. See, he, there he stiffened. He stiffened that ball. Yeah, he, he got fortunate there. He got though. very fortunate. He, he left, he got very lucky on Grady. I don't believe Grady can hit the two. Here, Grady's just gonna bring the nine two rails around. Like so. Very good shot. If he bumps the five a little, excellent yeah, shot. Yeah, right. <clears throat> But he, he, Grady didn't have much. Looks better got off that 14 there. I have no idea. He might shake him up a little, but I, I'll tell you the truth. Uh, right there. Uh, I, I don't believe I'd leave those balls tangled up. There's the shot right there. How'd he hit it? Did he come out for the 12? I don't believe he can reach the 12. <coughs> I don't believe he can make the 12. He may be able to spin it a little, or maybe he can. He's shooting like he's got a yeah, pass. straight in. He's straight in. Oh, wow. Good shot. Good shot. Cue ball control. He really has a nice cue ball.
Well, now, you're thinking about what you're going to do next year. Well, I believe he's going to go two rails. If he can, if he can shoot this shot, he's going to go two rails right into that six. I don't see any advantage to sticking there. No. But I uh, think he has a slight angle. He can go two rails into the six. Just spin it into the six. He may be wanting to back up and just shoot to 13. I would go into the balls here. If I could, if I could, had enough angle to where I could get to the right side. Well, he didn't have the angle that I that I. No, uh, he can't shoot to thirteen. Or, well, maybe uh, off the off the five. Play yeah. off the five. Off of the five. Right. This is awful dangerous. So he could leave. He could sell out a bank. He could do a lot of unproductive things here. He said, uh, "That's what he's doing. He's shooting your shot." See, it's uh, <laughs> that's wow. a dangerous shot there. He, yeah, his stroke failed him and left him uh, there on that particular shot. It well, was, if he'd hit more five, maybe the cue ball to the other, bring yeah. the cue ball to the end rail. You know, yeah, he'd have got more of a kiss on the bone. Mm -hmm. But then the thirteen wouldn't be where it is either. Yeah. Well, uh, what he may have been trying to do is kiss it off, and you know, float the cue ball up just a little bit. But the impact of the cue ball by, of the thirteen onto the five, he figured it would push the five up a little bit. But he let up on the stroke a little bit. The cue ball rolled forward. The five stayed where it was, and the thirteen went long. Right. And what that all breaks down to is Grady's got a shot. And <laughs> he's getting on the right side, <laughs> but way over. Yeah. He's left himself he's in a tough the, shot. Yeah. He was a foot away from that side pocket. He'd have a perfect angle for the nine. He has something down. Something. What does it look like? What's the stack look like? Has he got something out of the stack, or is he shooting at the nothing. 14? There, there's nothing in that stack that I can see. Now, okay. if, now if he fires the eight ball in, I'm going to eat crow, right? <laughs> If it'll go, he'll, he's going for it. He's yeah. shooting the eight ball. Oh. oh. Evidently, it did not. Wow. Evidently, oh, it didn't have a chance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. Boy. Billy might have been willing to forget the debt there, you know. <laughs> yeah, Billy would have probably called everything square if Grady would have let him. I was playing Johnny Ervelino in this tournament. He's he shot a shot and he fell. I said, that's foul, isn't he? He said, sure is. Grabbed the ball up and stuck it right there. I was in a trap. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, uh, I remember. He said, uh, "I believe I'd have waited a few minutes to ask about that." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So a lot of times, I have trouble remembering which pocket's mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna try to just keep him off of this. He's gonna roll, just roll over there, roll over to the rail. <clears throat> Grady has a shot here. He just bumped the four off the four up. He may try to cross the the thirteen over to his side. He may try to move the thirteen over. This is your shot. You like right. this shot, Grady. I like this shot. Setting a very deep, very deep. Touchy shot. Very touchy shot here. You could Really get in trouble shooting yeah, this only shot. Only if you hit it too thick. You can't go wrong hitting it thin like that. I mean, you, you can go wrong. Your cue ball's going to go up like that. If you hit it too thick, you double kiss and sell out. Uh, Billy asked him if he owed another one. He said, no, I'm all paid up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two rail the seven here, I'm sure. Or shoot the, you may shoot the nine straight in, but... If he can get he on can't the shoot the nine straight in. That's a wrong pocket. Hmm? See, I've yeah. forgotten whose pocket this <laughs> Which there? He can't shoot that one. He's got to shoot the 14. I mean, the four ball. He was actually playing a little bit of a combination there. 
Oh, I believe Grady will shoot here if he can avoid that point. If he can avoid the point on the nine, he will definitely shoot here. With the four sitting there. Uh, yeah, he'll, he'll hit it with a right-hand cue ball if he can miss the point there. If he can come down table. He may not have that, you know, but if he could, that's what he would do. Well, Grady's liable to three rail to ten, the four here. No reason to do that, though, is there? He may hit the 13 with the four. There, no, he didn't do that. Boy, risky shot there. Yeah. It's hard to keep something from just tickling out, tickling out and coming uh, coming over to leave us without, you know, it's just hard to keep something from happening there. I mean, you're going to have to have some kind of some kind of shot there. I All think right. the 14's got a path to the pocket. I do, too. <clears throat> I believe it'll go. I believe there's room for it to go in. He may not be shooting it, though. He may be sticking right there and just paying attention to it. No, he went for his hole. Oh, Billy he thought it. he made it. He hit it good. <laughs> I thought he made it. Yeah, Billy thought he did too. I don't know if Grady can. Well, he hadn't even looked to see if he hit 14. Good shot. But it's still a good one to put there. Right. He didn't hurt himself. No, he sure didn't. He sure did not. I think he might have been better off not making it. Yeah. Nah. Nah, he would have been better off making it because he could have moved 14 into 13 over there and stuck him against the three. What's wrong with lagging the eight in? Um, good question. I don't know if there's anything wrong with that except that it's going to leave Grady a bank on the five. Mm -hmm. so he was trying to get rid of that bank. Yeah. Grady here again will try to keep him off of the six. I would say he'll try to keep him off of the six. He just banked the eight, one rail back up, sending the cue ball to the side, railing all the way to the end. Just wants to make sure that uh, wants to make sure that he doesn't have a shot at the six. I don't like this shot. That he could sell out here. He could sell it out here. Well, does he have the three? No, but he has a shot. He can either bank the six, which I don't know if he'll do that or not. But he can shoot into the six, knocking the three away, or he can shoot the three. Is that what you're talking about? He can shoot the three into the 13 right. and knock yeah. the six away. Knock the six away, right. But that's an awful dangerous shot. He may look at the, the five ball, shooting the five, forcing the five two rails out into those balls and just sticking on the end rail. He had a lot of options here. Mm -hmm. This is the dangerous one here. Oh. This is a good shot. Yeah, oh. see, now that was another option. I overlooked he, that. You could have locked him up there. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that he could hit the, that side of the three. Yeah, I think That's here Grady would just shoot the five, one rail over and stick him against the back side of the three, the 13. Yeah. Yeah, that's the shot. I think that's what he wanted to do that's right there. That's the shot right there. <laughs> uh, 
No, you don't take any chances here. You just knock 13 away and stick him right back on the end rail. Stick him right back here on the end rail. I don't think you take any kind of chances here. You just go ahead, knock it on up table. Five, five, ten. Scores five to nothing in balls. That was a gutsy shot right there. Yes, it was. Look at this, though. Oh, boy. Well, I overlooked that one. Yeah. Uh, I overlooked that one, but... <laughs> Well, you have to play aggressive sometimes. I mean, you're down five to nothing. You right. got to give something a chance to happen. Yeah. Something has to happen. Now, he, now he's in a spot here. He can get one more ball. Well, he can get one more ball playing this. Yeah, he's going to, if he draws it, he's going to go into the 13, but I think he can go follow and uh, with a lot of uh, just a uh, high rider, center right, spin behind, spin and get on the other side of 13. Just oh, like man. that. Just like that. That's a nice shot. I, I, I didn't know whether he had enough room to get in there or not. Uh, that was a very nice shot. Good call. I, I thought he would hit that ball. I thought he was, the seven was close enough where he would run into that ball. Okay. Like you say, buddy, there's another half of the ball above the middle, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Another half a ball above the, half a tip above the middle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he shot that too quick. Too quick. Uh -huh. He shot that before he was ready. Yeah. Yeah, he's supposed to be playing position there on the uh, three. I would think. Billy's playing for two. Now playing for one. He whacked it. No wrestling match. Grady needs them all. Billy needs one. Straight back on the <clears throat> floor draw it. No. <clears throat> Not going to do that. He's going to shoot the nine. Yeah, there. Oh, I thought he was going <laughs> to shoot the nine. There was a kiss in that nine bank, yeah. wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Looked like. Uh, Grady may shoot here. He may not. But he might, he might shoot the one. I don't know. Some people shoot it, some people don't. Some will and some won't. Yeah. Well, it's all knotted up, five apiece. Five, five. This is seven, five. Seven to five is the score. Uh, seven, five. Yeah, and it's two ball. to one in games. Grady needs all three balls. This is a big game here, too. From being tied and trailing, too. You know? Yeah. Well, uh, Grady has a two to one lead in games. Uh, and Billy, if Billy wins this game, they'll have both have broken serve one time apiece. All right. <clears throat> I don't like this on new cloth. That's just not a, you know, not really a, he just gives him a free shot there, I believe, at the one. Isn't it free? Right. Yeah, no risk there at all. He's not going to take it. He's not going to take it. That's He's surprising. not going to put two balls down here in play. <laughs> he is not going to do that. He says, Grady, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, Grady's going to shoot. I believe he'll shoot at the four here. Well, one more thing I'm wrong about. Uh, now he's put them all into play. 
Now all the balls are in play. He's knocking nine down to the side pocket. Well, if Billy shoots, he's got to really shoot. You know, he got to go ahead and shoot. But he's going to do what you said. He's going to knock the nine down table. Oh. 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 Hey, Boy. This one has potential of Outsville, you know. <laughs> yes, it does. it does. Got an opportunity to win here. That's one. The one doesn't pass. Yeah. The one does not pass. He cued the ball low there. I yeah. I thought he cued a little high and come out. Mm -hmm. Do you shoot the combination? Play no, position? Oh, surely not. Well, that's, that's what they call arithmetic pool. You know, you can kiss the one toward your hole and bank the four, you know, over there. Arithmetic pool. Huh. Well, you had an opportunity there. Okay. Billy's Seven to six. Swing at it. Seven to six. Billy shooting at, the, at his game ball. Nope. If it bounces up, Grady's got a chance. Two. Grady's got a chance anyway. He'll, he'll three rail at this. I believe he'll three rail at this and sit down. He'll hit it hard enough to get it out of there. Oh, he double kissed it. He was going for the juggler. Yes, he was. He was going for the juggler. He was trying to win. Boy, he had an opportunity there, too. He sure did. He sure did. Okay, this is going to be one of those kind of games. I want it over here. No, I want it over here. <laughs> one of those. Things. Yeah, here's where they both say no to one another. Oh, Grady may have a shot. He may have a shot. May have the first offensive shot. Now, do I take it or do I not? I would shoot. I believe I would shoot. Maybe that's why I'm over here and they're over there. <laughs> that's exactly what I would have done. I would have shot. You don't want to hit the point. Ooh. <laughs> Point Dexter could have got him then. Well, he's got a free bank here too. Mm. He he doesn't he doesn't have a bottom. He doesn't have a bottom to the cue ball. Does not have a bottom to the cue ball. Here you have to really lag. I mean, this is this is a really a pace shot. Playing it to the professional side, you definitely don't want to hit the in rail. The end rail being the first rail that you hit after you come right. off the side rail because you sell out of bank then. Okay, now they are positioned in a. I don't, I don't know if you think Billy will shoot at this? Yeah. Do you? Yeah, he, he can. Well, <laughs> that uh, corner pocket there can look like a bushel basket on a shot like this, but I think. Uh, he wasn't taking any chances. Uh oh, <clears throat> did it line up? Did it line up? Did it line up? Do you kick one reel behind this and just knock the one down there? See what happens? I mean, kick one reel behind shot. the four. One reel behind the four. The Ronnie Allen kick. All right. Oh. It goes toward your hole. I think. Hey, I think he's just going to bunt. I think he's just going to roll against it. Yeah. Just bunt. Not give him anything. No breathing room here. No breathing here. <laughs> Great, he's shaking his head. Billy wants to leave Grady distance. He wants to leave him a long way from the ball. Long, long way from the ball. Well, see, you know, here, here you go again with these uh, dependable 
you can hit a ball exactly where you aim at it, rolling it slow clear across the table. You have to be careful with this shot. You could go straight in the corner pocket over there, hitting this with a high ball, two railing it. You could follow the cue ball right in the corner pocket. Yeah, here. because you <laughs> you can only hit the cue ball in one place there. Yeah. Oh, now see, that's the wrong rail. That's the incorrect rail to hit. Right. Now, yeah, Grady, pretty fortunate that he got all the way over. Grady can move that ball over to his hole, but I think he's going to put it back down the table. He's right. taking it back. Right. He wanted to pay, take it a lot farther out than that. He wanted to get him way over. Billy's not going to shoot this, though. I don't believe he'll shoot it. I don't believe he'll try to lag it. About the only good thing that can happen here is this ball go in. Right. Make it. Make it or jaw it. If you don't make it or jaw it, see, this shot's no good. Unless he's playing it to the end rail. See, he's got a shot. He can shoot this ball cross corner if he wants to. Okay, now he's over on the side again. <laughs> Billy talking to his friend, Mr. Wade Crane, on the sidelines. And Willie Joplin sitting over there, Mr. Bill Marshall. A lot of, lot and lots and lots of players here this weekend. We've seen the great Marshall Carpenter, Winnie Beanie, Bill Staten, uh, Billy and Cardona, Grady Matthews, Johnny Irvellino. Uh, just a number. Alan Hopkins. Alan Hopkins. Steve Cook. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dave Bowman, who now has the hot seat. Uh, they're just a number, number, number of top one pocket players that were here. And new faces. Yes. New faces on the block. We've seen some new faces on the block. Some excellent players. Okay, he, well, he can't, if he can't follow it, he got to hit it. Okay, he got to hit it. You take that one. Now, do you hit this with a high center cue ball? High center. High center. Wow. Oh, my goodness, there it goes. Into a whale. What did Why? he do? What Why? is he doing? What did he do? What did he do there? Why did he shoot that ball like that? Yeah. Why would he hit it so hard? I expected him to lag that toward his hole, but, you know. Not shoot that, that hard. <laughs> it's all knotted up, two games apiece. Grady and Billy, if Billy happens to win this set, he will comment on that last shot that Grady made. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I don't want to speculate on what he might say about it, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Was he drunk? <laughs> yeah. Was he drunk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's oh, there's Irvelino. the great Johnny Irvellino right there on our screen, on our monitor. Giving uh, bits and pieces of wisdom to the audience about uh, the things that are are happening here with the tournament and the, the players and the who shot what. And everybody's had a good time at this tournament. It's just been a wonderful time. Here. I've had a ball here. It's uh, <clears throat> Julian Robinson. It's amazing what he's done with this place here. He's yeah. got a good. Nice, nice environment or nice uh, atmosphere in this pool room. Okay. Uh, Billy got lucky there. He nipped the four and uh, almost scratched, but he didn't. Didn't quite. <laughs> okay. Let's go back to the uh, to the shot that here you are. Now this was really. He shot this shot way too quick. He didn't think the shot out. He hauled off and just hit the ball. Uh, now the cue ball's headed straight for the corner pocket. He let the cue ball get away from him. He didn't think the shot out. 
He, as soon as he made the one straight back, he dropped straight down, hit the ball two rails, hit the ball too thin, overshooting the two railer and letting the cue ball go. Yeah, all that work down all the drain. All that work down the drain. Mm. He just shot it a little too fast. He didn't think the shot out. Can Billy get on the other side of the 14? No. Well, what? Uh, well, he just shot that. Yeah. He shot it. <laughs> he fooled me on that shot. You know? <laughs> he fooled me too. He shot it right in for Grady. Grady shot the nine in. Hit Billy's hole. And Billy turned around and said, "Thank you," and shot one in his. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, he's going to two rail this at his hole. Possibly two rail. <coughs> uh, I don't want to get mixed up here. Now Grady this is Grady's is, pocket over here, right? Grady is facing his pocket. Yeah. Okay, that's good news. That <laughs> Boy, is very good you, news. You can get. To I was already wanting him to bank it into the side yeah. of the stack. You know? <laughs> All right, he'll two rail this to over on his side of the table, possibly right in the hole. Look here, if it goes nips off at this. And four. Look at this. Ta -da, ta -da. Now he'll probably paste the 14 in. I say he'll shoot the 14. He didn't shake anything out dead. Nothing was shaking loose. So I think he'll just paste the 14 in here or, or toward his hole, bringing the cue ball back. Or he might even go into the stack with it. Yep, he elected to go into the stack with it. Good shot. Well, those uh, balls tied up. Yeah. <coughs> He's picking them two at the time. Billy's got a free shot here. Really a free shot. If he makes it, he plays position on the seven. Yep, that's in. Position on the three, I mean. Position on the three ball to play position on the 14 and one. He can really uh, do some damage here. Play position on the 14 and one. He needs wow. to hold. It got away from him a little. Yeah, he hit it over. It, over it got away it from him. He's got to, yeah, he's got to really be careful with it now. He, uh, he doesn't, he may not even have a shot at it. This, uh, can he get to the end rail off the one without nicking the 14? Uh, it's uh, really dangerous because it, the ball has to have time to react. Here, as thin as he has to hit the one, the cue ball may not have time to react to the draw. He may not have time to react here. He may go right in the hole with this. I don't believe he'll shoot that shot. He's a... I don't believe he'll shoot that. I like. Now he's got a combination here at the two. Well, he really put himself in a precarious position there. I like uh, the 15 three rails and bury it in the stack there. Yeah. I think Grady will probably bank the 12 into the 1 4. That's what I would do. I'd, you got to open those balls up, taking the cue ball up table. I would send the cue ball all the way up table, banking the 12 into the 1 4. Send the cue ball up to the head string about where that chalk's at. Yeah. I like that shot. Like so, that's that's the shot I like. Yeah, good job. Sending yeah. the cue ball up there, opening those balls up. <coughs> now, Billy has a a decision to make. Can it come between the 14 and one to well, the end rail and just bunt it? That's what he's. Uh, he he might just give him this. He he may just shoot this end stick right there. He's considering that, but the only problem with that is maybe the 12 banks. Uh, he's going to go on down. But he's not going to stick there. He's going to go on down table. Boy, these tables roll so beautifully. That is perfect. Now Grady has a shot here. It's, it's a pretty common shot if he wanted to shoot it. I mean, it comes around naturally here if he wanted to shoot the eight. Bank the eight for your pocket. Play three rails around. He's going to play the one across. Or the five across, the one across, or the five across. No, he didn't want to play it across. He just wanted to take it to there. Hide him, keep him off the one twelve. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now Billy has got a free shot here to play position on the one twelve again. He'll play position on the one and twelve.
He didn't bring it all the way back. He didn't twist it enough. He didn't bring it all the way back. Yeah, Grady, depending on his shot here, he may nip, try to nip the, the one off of the 12. Or he may just bank bump the, the 15. Five. He could bank the 15 and do the same thing. Three rails. You know, yeah. follow the ball. 15. Yeah, yeah I don't think he could. These tables, the pockets seem to play at a, at a level where you really don't want your opponent shooting at them. You, know, you don't want to take any chance on giving him any kind of a any kind of a shot. I don't know what he spotted here, but he it looks like he's located something. Oh, cross! He banked the two cross table. Good shot, good shot. That's that's a good shot. That's a good shot. A character. I didn't see it until he looked down at it. One of the characteristics of these tables they're playing on is. Uh, at pocket speed, slow rolling, they uh, get bigger. And but up the rail, if you shoot it hard up the rail, you got to hit the hole. Yes, you dead do. center, or it will spit it right back out at you. It's a good point there. If you play the balls pocket speed, the pockets are big. If you hit them with any kind of pepper on them, any kind of velocity behind them, you better be accurate. Absolutely, because it will spit it back at you. I believe the pockets play the right way. If you hit them the right speed, they go. If you don't hit them the right speed, you don't get them. Well, Brady, oh, that will him fool him right there. there. That, 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 fool him. that will fool him. He didn't intend to do that. He was trying to stick him right against the one. He let up on the stroke a little bit, let the cue ball go forward. He was just trying to Sticking right up against the back of the one to leave no shot. But now Billy has an opportunity to, to really win the game. He'll play position here on the 10 ball, I believe. Oh, he's missed that ball. Yeah, he missed it. Wow. He missed it. He missed it. Wow. Did he leave Grady a shot at it? Grady may just give him this ball, yeah. Yeah. Yes, and happy to do it. Yes. <laughs> and tickled to death. Uh -huh. And Ray over the cue ball. Yeah. But now. No, no, no. Okay, now he doing that. Doing that give uh, Grady a free shot. Really, he doesn't. He doesn't like to take it though. Well, he did take it. He took another free shot. That was a free shot too. I was thinking that the the uh, 13 ball, one rail up, was a pretty free shot. Mm -hmm. One rail at his hole was pretty free. The five laying over there against that point kind of had me uh, fooled. I didn't think you could do that with a five. Yeah, but if it goes, he's playing for two balls instead of one. That could be Ooh. the Booker man. Yep. That could be the Booker man. <clears throat> he's going to play position here for the ten. Bank it across. Play position for the uh, for the uh, twelve. He'll play position for the 12 here. Nothing fancy, just get the ones that stick out. That's the proper way to do it. He'll have no further shot down here. I mean, just, just ace the ball. He'll just take this one. Stop. he just take that one. There's nothing left for him here. Maybe bank the two across the table, go up table. Or maybe start sending balls over to your side and kind of premeditating where your opponent's going to shoot from. Well, the score is what uh, six to four. Six to four in balls. I'd say that Grady has the advantage this game because both the balls that will go 
could definitely go in his pocket. Okay, now. Now, I like, uh, I even like two railing this ball. I like two railing this ball and drawing your cue ball back up there for position. But the, these, see, that ball has, is on at a two rail angle. You can draw your cue ball back up, play position on the 13, play the ball in. Yeah, but you want to shoot hard enough so if you did miss it, it'd go back up table, not lose Not if the back. cue ball's going up table. Not if the cue ball's going up right. table. Right. Billy's running into a lot of balls this match. He's you know, just shooting one going into another, shooting one going into another. Yeah. He tried to go into that five ball that he failed, that he went over the top of, cost him three balls. Yeah, and if he'd hit that seven a little funny, it could have cost him another. Yeah. If that ball, if that cue ball keeps going, then Billy will shoot. Billy's in no hurry. Okay, if it the yeah, two rail is around his side of the table, just float down. Just go down table. Knock something over or something. Wow. Good the, shot. Where the cue ball wound up. That's good one pocket. You leave your opponent shooting out of your pocket all the time. Out of his own pocket all the time. It's hard for him to get one in it. Hard for him to find his hole. Right? Yes it is. Two railer. I don't believe he can. If he can hit it, he may play at two rails. Two, rail, his, two rails. Two rails and the jaws. I believe Grady feels like that Billy earned that one. Yeah, Grady felt like that he earned that one, so he'd go ahead and have it. Yeah. <clears throat> Bill is definitely continuing on. Continuing on, continuing on. Five to six. Grady's got a command in one ball lead. <laughs> yeah, all the balls seem to be on Billy's side of the table all of a sudden. Yeah. Games are tied up to a piece. Good shot. Good shot. Yeah. Good shot. Yes, yeah, okay, Billy. Two rail this one. Yeah. Okay, Bill. Two rail this one, big boy. Yeah, the seven ball. This is not yet. He says, no, Grady, I seen what you had in mind for me, and the answer is no. <laughs> okay, if he can keep him off of the seven, he wants to keep him off of the seven. Billy may have an ideal shot here to shoot to 15 and play position on us. The seven may be blocking the two rail path, but it, had he room to go by it, he would shoot this shot. He shot it anyway. Yeah, but he Played didn't, it wide didn't have it. room to do what he's talking about there. And that's having a lot of confidence in your stroke when you feel like that you can just set that ball down there and block it with a seven. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Whoa. Whack. Okay, he needs one. He needs one. A little spin on the okay, ball here. Okay, wow! I thought he made that ball. Thought he made that ball. Now Billy 
has to think aggressive. This is exactly the same situation that Grady was in last game. Eight balls, three rails. If it bounces, if it bounces, Grady will put the third ball in play here, but he's shooting at the juggler. He's shooting at the oh. juggler. He's shooting to win by, you know, he's sure he puts it down table here, but he's shooting right at the hole by do, doing that. That's no good. Uh, That's no good. He's thinking about kicking and hitting the 15 and then coming off the rail and clearing the 13. He cannot do anything but lose the game here. He has oh, to get lucky. Boy. He has to get lucky to keep from losing the game on this shot. Oh, he's rolling it. He I thought he was it. shooting it. Yeah. I thought he was shooting it. Good shot. Good Very shot. Very good shot. I thought he was clearing out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was clearing things out. Yeah. If Billy had been commentating up here, he'd have cut the eight in and went four rails for position. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Well, I think Grady has to knock the 13 back over to this side and just send the cue ball up the table. <laughs> like so. That's the way he's got to play that. Wants to leave him straight in. Wants to leave him straight in. Good, good shot. Very good shot. Very good shot here. It's hard to defend against the to defend against the 15. Uh, he would have split the wicket if he doesn't been there. Now Grady may have a free shot. I don't know if he's going to look at it, but if he can shoot this ball with a little bit of inside English, if he misses it and goes up table, he could... Uh, he's playing, what, 13 off the eight? Yeah. yeah. Right see, I didn't like that yeah. shot. Now... Look at here. If that locks up dead. Oh, did it lock up dead? Sure it did. Did it? Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you can make that ball. It's not dead. It's I missable. But See, I would have shot at the money. money. I would yeah. have shot at my money. I think Billy's money. out from here. That looks dead. Looks dead. No, it isn't dead. It is not dead. It was not sure. dead. Yeah. It was not dead. Billy, a three rail this. Three rail this, send the cue ball up table. We've got to be careful here not to. Not, send, to, not yeah. to send it up in the corner. Yeah. You know? Scratch on that shot. Yeah. Uh -oh. See, I uh -oh. hit this shot the same way. And, and I'm telling you, it's a hard shot to judge. You're afraid that you, you can sell that shot out straight in. And the way you shoot it, you shoot it like you could sell it straight out. Yeah. It's got to hit both balls, right? Huh? No. Here's a two runner. Yeah, he could possibly leave him something here. And he could go ahead and scratch on And he show. could win the game. Yeah. A lot of coulds. Yeah. A lot of coulds on this shot. I believe Grady will will remove the 13 here. <laughs> 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 we'll remove the 13 here, kicking one rail behind it I like. He elected to shoot straight into it. Going back to Billy's side, it needs to hold down. It's going in the pocket, huh? Thought it was going to the side there for a minute. <clears throat> wow, what a shot. Uh oh. Look at this. Uh oh. This. Grady's going to be on the hill first. Boom, it rolled off. It rolled off. <laughs> it rolled off. <laughs> <laughs> it 
boy. Wow. Now, Doug. Slick has a three to two lead. Okay. <laughs> we affectionately call Mr. Matthew Slick. Thought for sure Billy was going to win that game there. I said, that was a well played game. Yeah, and the speed that Billy hit it, even though it wasn't dead, it, it could have dropped. You know. Yeah. You know, Grady's dropped. the only one pocket player that I know that has a break cue for one pocket. <laughs> he does. <laughs> he has a break cue for one pocket. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> he sure does. snuck out. <clears throat> he almost left him a shot at the 10. Almost. I think you back 12 into the 11. I do too. Maybe even play the 11 mm -hmm. on this particular shot. You're not selling out anything. You know, you want to make sure you hit it square. He's cutting a board. And, uh, he's, he's thinking about it. He's, he's bluffing. He's bluffing. He's bluffing. <laughs> he's bluffing. I believe he'll shoot the 12 into the back of the 11. I don't know what in the world he's looking at there now. He's bluffing again. He's bluffing again. He's talking to me. Act like he's going to shoot a combination or something. I like the way that ball lays. Oh, Look at our monitor there. That ball lays really good for that. I can't believe that he is shooting this. Oh, man. Look at this. What's he doing? Wow. I want, that's, uh, that, that's very aggressive one pocket right there. Why well, you would take a chance on... Uh, Really getting this set tied up with that shot. Maybe he, you know, he thought, well, I'm going to try to win it right here, you know. So banking the 12 into the stack and sending the cue ball to the end rail would have been better than that, I thought. Yeah. Billy, he's just going to pick out these two or three that are loose. Maybe go up and bank the four. Will a 10 pass? I don't think the 10 he passes. Go three, two rails around, three rails around on the 10. I yeah, think he's position on the four. Yeah. Yeah, they may. Just bank this over. I don't know if he's even trying to make this. He may just be lagging it. He didn't bruise it, huh? Now he may shoot the, third, the three ball. No? Well, it's yeah, I see the point here. He's going to lag this. going to lag that at the hole. Huh. And the 15 oh. looks dead, doesn't it? No. Is the 15 dead? Maybe. Maybe. Grady just put himself in a... Look at the 13. That's a 13. Yeah. Might be close. Five, ten. He's leading... He's leading five to nothing, and Grady owes one. Grady sure shot a, a shot that really requires a lot of nerve. I think I think he took a lot of nerve to shoot it. Now the five is dead for <clears throat> Billy's hole. Yeah, Grady won't leave that there. Well, he's got to deal with it, you know. Yeah, right. Right, he does have to deal with it. <clears throat> Definitely has to deal with it. Grady took a short break. Yep. There he's back.
Yeah, my man Rick has been playing bank pool. He's been approaching these champions, playing bank pool, kind of <laughs> you know, holding his own here. It's a nice shot. He moved ball over his side and don't, don't leave a, anything. Billy just put him back on the end rail here, I believe. Uh, he won't, don't want to give up any kind of a shot, so he'll just nip the five and come back to the end rail, probably uh, right around the center of the table. Or maybe even real close to Grady's hole. That could scratch if it's hard enough. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> mm, Billy kind of flinched with that one. What a shot, what a shot. I don't know what he's looking at now. I know he has some kind of uh, some kind of uh, plan there, but I'll tell you the fifth, the seven looks really good to me coming off of that thirteen, didn't it, you? <laughs> yeah, that uh, it's possible. Grady, yeah, Grady didn't want to really sit there and leave that. He didn't want to leave that opportunity. I don't believe. Both of these guys have promised that we get to interview both of them at the end of this match. So just in case it's an extended interview, <laughs> let me give you our the Pro Tour Videos AccuStats 1-800 number right now. It's 1-800-828-0397 to order this video and any video of your choice. Now, just in case we have an extended interview with both players at the end of the match, and I don't get a chance to give you that number, just remember it. It's 1-800-828-0397. Billy just missed a golden opportunity. He sure did. He missed that ball straight in. I don't know what he was thinking about there. And he went long on that one. Boy. Boy. <laughs> he needs to move that. Uh, oh, I'm, he's leaving him a shot here. He's leaving him a shot here. Grady will go. He will go from here. He no. definitely no. It's seven first. Seven first. Seven first. He, he may leave a shot at the, at the six if he happens to miss it. Okay, seven first. And yeah. No. Okay, and now he has a, a nice little angle to play. Just play the nine in and get on the six. Okay. Now what he would like to do is be able to send the cue ball right into the 13, or right into the 5-3. If he could nip, that would be an right. ideal location for the cue ball to head in. No, he couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. So now he two rails the one. I would say he had two rail the one. Well, that's side buckets there. Yeah. You can get in it from that angle. And drew it out. Okay. Oh, it better oh, go. Oh, it better oh. go. Yeah, this is. Okay. I don't this know. is almost uh, identical to the last shot that Buddy, that Billy missed. He aimed at that one. He. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he just took his eye off that ball. He was thinking of where the cue ball was going to be or something. I don't yeah. know. Okay. Now. Now, mm -hmm. okay, he's 15. Wow, yeah. he uh, okay. Here's the replay of the shot that Billy missed. What top players do sometimes they'll get to thinking about the cue ball, 
And when they think about the cue ball, they're really not that accurate with the object ball. Now, I think that's what happened to Billy then. He was thinking about strategically where the cue ball was going to land for his next opportunity and just took his eye away from the nine. He just mm -hmm. took the nine for granted. That's a common mistake among uh, top players and uh, uh, the what we would call the, uh, the lesser than the top players. That's a common mistake with all pool players. One of the things that you have to overcome. I think it's a big thing if a pool player can get it into his head that there's no such thing as an easy shot. Yeah, but it's really hard to do. I mean, oh, everybody my. does it. Yeah. Yeah. He's trying to play position on the one here, I believe. It, see, that, that's a good shot there. I mean, he's shooting at the two. But what he, the main thing, his main purpose there is take your whitey. Right. Don't let it come back out there. Don't blow the game behind that. Right into the kiss. Yeah. Grady waved it off. Now, now Billy don't want to move those, those three balls. I don't think he'll move the 13. Well, he may shoot it. I guess he is. <laughs> Looks to me like it partially opens him up. See, now they're open. They are definitely open now. And Grady may have a shot here to pass underneath uh, the 13, knocking it back over to his side of the table and sending the cue ball two rails up table. But it opens it up for, Gra uh, for uh, Grady's pocket. Oh, Billy shot. Oh, boy. Wow. Okay. We're going to hold off for a minute, change tapes, be right back. We are back and we are in action. Grady has strategically placed balls on his side of the table, moved the cue ball up table. I think Billy's going to have to just drive balls away. Now he'll come into the back of the one, send in the one into the three, five. He hit it pretty hard. Ah, Grady is pretty fortunate there. All, three of the balls stayed down there. Three of the balls stayed. Uh, that was, he was pretty fortunate there, I believe. And two of them will go. Yes. 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 I like just rolling into the, he's just gonna roll up and bunt this ball. Just a bunt. Okay. Now you let Billy think of something here. Now he, he put Billy in a, a peculiar spot because Billy has to cut the ball away. Uh, you know, the kiss comes into effect, but Brady's gonna have a shot to bring the ball back down table. Uh, there's a lot of uh, stuff here that uh, Billy's not real happy with. And he's going to he's going to cross over the 13, bank into 13, one real back down table. But he'll have to be pretty fortunate to keep Grady. Oh, he banked. He elected to go into it. Okay, Grady's going to have a shot to bring a ball back down table here. He'll probably shoot it to five. Just bring it back down, send in the cue ball to the end rail. He won oh boy, that was a great pass there. To pass that ball was really quality shot. Okay, Billy's still trying to maneuver balls down table. Oh, okay. Thank you. I believe that he will uh it, it looks like he's gonna shoot at the one ball. I didn't like that shot. I no, didn't like that shot. That's really a pretty get risky shot. Get to the other shot. side of the table before you can shoot that shot. Thank you. Pretty risky shot there. Billy's pacing this one. And now he's going to try to bank the five. Billy needs one. Billy needs one ball. I think Grady, what Grady should have done then, if he was going to shoot at the one, go ahead and shoot at it. You know, play position on that ball instead of taking a chance on that ball uh, getting out there, you know. Down the middle. Okay, it's three apiece. 
three games apiece, and it's Billy and Cardona's break. We have a match. It has come to this one game. So now the winner of this match won't be able to brag too hard. Uh, if Grady <laughs> happens to uh, break serve here and win the game, um, he might brag a little hard. But if Billy wins it off of the break, man, eh, you know, it's not that much of a bragging, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Broke him well. He hit him a little hard. Yeah. Hit a little hard. Left him a shot at the six. Left him a pretty good shot to get out of the break here. Yeah. Pretty good shot to get out of the break. He will definitely shoot it to six. Yes, he will. No doubt about it. And probably hit the four with it. Well, that's what he'd like to do. If he could do that and place the cue ball between the 13, uh, between the 12 and the nine, that's exactly what he would do. Okay. What's he doing here, bud? I have not got Is a clue. Is he bluffing again? Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's gonna bring the cue ball back over between the nine and 12, or at the nine and 12. That was the shot right there. Uh -huh. It would have been, uh, he would have been a little happier had he had been able to get the six on over into a clear path. But see, the three ball goes from up table. The three ball plays in Grady's pocket. The six ball plays from down table. The four ball plays from down table. Grady's got uh, the two ball plays. He's got a lot of balls that are going his hole. I believe yeah. Billy's got a shot here at bank 13. And maybe get another ball after that. The three ball goes in, in uh, Grady's pocket. So I don't believe he'll shoot at that. You see what I'm saying? The three yeah. ball will go in his pocket. This is a shot I like. I need. I like going all the way under this ball. That's the shot I like right there. Now, Grady just nipped the 12 and tried to stick him against the back side of the 14, uh, the back side of the four. If he nips the six, I mean, and doesn't move the six very far and sticks him against the back of the uh, four ball. A whale there. There's a whale. Okay. Dodges. Okay, that's a good shot. That's he good he shot. has to play off of the four. That's I believe. I don't think he can hit the other balls. He may be able to hit the other balls, but he... a good shot. Grady's uh, slowly but surely getting into trouble here. I think he's in a position right now where he has to take a scratch. He's looking at his second shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like for him to clue me in on the first one. He's in a lot of trouble right here. trying to get him down far enough where he had to hit the six by shoot when he shot at the four. I think he did. Yeah, that's what that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to get him down far enough to where he has to hit the six when he shoots at the four. But Billy may be able to play a position on the on the thirteen. 
Oh, he double guy. kissed it. Yeah, he hit six twice. Double kissed it. Mm. That's pretty good thinking on Grady's part there. Uh -huh. Now do you go for position on 13 or 2? Uh, I shoot it to 13 here. I'll go ahead and shoot, shoot it to 13, yeah. Plays position on uh, the 2. Now he can open them up if the 12 ball doesn't block him. He's got 6. Right. He's going to go right into the 6 hitting this hard. He didn't hit it hard. Oh, he'd like to miss that ball. Nothing's opened up unless the nine unless the, may go. Yeah, the combination, maybe. Five, nine. I don't believe the seven goes. Here, unless the ball banks or something like that. Banks 12. And maybe the 12 banks. I hit. Yeah. Yeah. Another 15. Yeah. I even had the rare, the rare privilege last night of watching Pat spin his ball a couple times. He came back in, felt loose, and decided to hit a couple of balls himself. <laughs> okay, he'll bank this straight back. Trying to pace it. Good speed. If it comes all the way well, to the end, the Grady will shoot it to three. He'll shoot it to three or the, the five. five. If he can if he can make this five, he'll try to shake them loose. He's down five to nothing. I say it's time to go. It would be for me. Mm-hmm. It would be my turn. Uh, he'd have to sweat this one through. Oh, Grady. <laughs> He's got a three-way combination. Well, he may not be able to hit the 14. He, he hit 14. He can shake stuff loose. Off the eleven to the side and back as uh, side rail. Uh, maybe That's about all he's got. Just a little. Maybe. Touch shot to. Maybe to the rail. Or he may nip across them here and not move the eleven and come back to that side. <coughs> you know, playing the cue ball a little high, playing it a little above the side pocket. But I don't think he'll do that though because he don't. He doesn't want to leave that three ball for free. He doesn't want to make the three free. He wants to, if Grady has, to, has a chance to play the, the three, he wants it to be a penalty. Uh, he may be trying to make the 115 combination. Well, that, that's a, a, a great shot right there. But he got a ball up and a ball down and got everything blocked. Now, Grady's in a predicament here. Where he's, he's in a spot. You know, the only top player that I didn't see here this week was Mike LeBron that likes to play one pocket. And... Uh, Bugs, who was busy winning another one pocket tournament, he wasn't here. Shannon Dalton wasn't here. Cliff Joyner. Cliff Joyner. They were all over at the other one pocket tournament. That tournament started before this one. Okay, he's going to. 
kick it to 15. Uh, he's going to miss the 15. He kicked to miss the 15. Try to get behind the five. Taking a scratch. Trying to that, get behind the five. That's a, head, shot. a heady shot. Good a shot. Heady shot. Billy will just nip the 15, put him right back. Put him right back. He wants to make sure he gets the cue ball over far enough, you know. Yeah. He may like to leave the 15 on the end rail. That way he's got a ball at the end rail. You got a five ball here. It's a little aggravating. Yeah, yeah. It's in a, it's in a spot, a good spot for Grady. See, his cue ball speed has to, has to be good. This is no good. This is no good. Grady will get back in the hunt here. With this one, he'll, I guarantee he'll try to get back in the game with this one. Yeah. Up and down. Back and forth. Now, I think he hit it with a low left-hand cue ball and just go right into the eight. Oh, you think so? Yeah. I think he'd draw it right into the eight. Draw the cue ball here. You may be shooting your shot up and down. Okay, he's going to play this off of the off of the ten and the eight. Possibly can win the game with this shot. He's sending the cue ball up table. Okay, up table, up it goes. Good shot. Very good shot. Good shot. Now Billy has to deal with the, with the seven ball. He's going to have two shots to deal with. After he shoots the seven, he's going to have to deal with the three after that. Let's see. Billy may have six balls, or Grady may have a ball in his pocket. I'm not sure of the count. It's either five to one or six to nothing. It's six to nothing. Okay, six to nothing, I've been informed. So right now, Billy wants to really protect this game. Uh, he doesn't want to take any kind of chances. I, I don't know what he's thinking about with the three. Maybe he's playing, maybe he's going to play position on the seven. Shoot the three, two rails, play position on the seven. Maybe that's what he's thinking about doing. But I think he's bluffing. If <laughs> <laughs> I believe he's bluffing. I believe he's bluffing. Yeah, that's the shot. He's going to thin the three and go two rails. Grady can make this ball. If he can't make it, he has a very, very good shot. Well, I say very good shot. Maybe he doesn't. Uh, I would think he had a good shot at the one, but maybe the one doesn't pass. Okay, spin her in, Grady boy. Spinner, spinner, spinner. Put the old spinner to it. <laughs> the old spinner roo, buckaroo. I'll tell you something that might go here. He has five. It might go right through there and kiss off the 11. <laughs> okay. He's whacking. He was whacking. Well, let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> let that be a lesson to you. Well, he didn't scratch. <laughs> no, he didn't. No luck in one pocket. Seven goes. The seven, seven goes. This could be for the marbles. He's playing for two. If he can make the seven and get on the 14, he's got a victory. Yes.
He's going to wait. <laughs> Boy. Uh, you could never call him a high diver. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, you, you talk about squeeze. <laughs> they are squeezing. Ooh. Look at this shot. Oh, look at that shot. <laughs> Billy's starting to, to starting do a little woofing now. Yeah. Starting to <laughs> Grady said I had some comment. I don't know what exactly what it was, but we can find out later. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we know the winner is going to have woofs. Uh, now, uh, you want to speculate on what kind of excuses the loser may have? <laughs> <laughs> well. Whoa. <laughs> I said, oh, what? <laughs> Billy thought he overlooked something. He said, oh, what? Yeah. Okay, Grady, two rail to the 11, draw your cue ball, two rails out of the corner, play position on the 7, draw it three rails out of the corner, play position on the 7. You know, be creative. Yeah. This game will make grown men talk the ball. <laughs> All right, he, he's going to try to stick him against something here. No, he isn't. He's going to bring him to the end joint. You're down six to nothing. You don't want him down here where he can blast balls to that end. Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> I would believe I would have just put him right back against the the nine and the ten. What I would have done. Yeah, that would have limited his. Uh, yeah, his down table tactics. It would. Okay, Billy, he's looking for the place to move the most balls. He's liable to hit the eight full. <laughs> Okay, he's going to move the nine and the ten, and the one. The one and the nine got all the nine all got all the way down, and the one like a few inches. Now Grady's going to knock one of them down himself. See, the eight goes in Billy's pocket, but it doesn't go in Grady's. Yeah, right. Right. I think Grady's just got his work cut out for him this game. He's, he's two rail. He's thinking about two rail in the ten. If the three wasn't there, I guarantee he'd two rail the ten. Might anyway. He might anyway. Yeah. Cue ball's perfect. Boy, had he hit in the ball, if he got it past there, that would have been a fine pool shot. Okay, Billy, you wouldn't shoot it before, would you shoot it now? I don't believe he will. <laughs> <laughs> now he's explaining. Grady's explaining to Billy his strategy. Grady's having a good time yeah. playing Billy. He's enjoying playing Billy. And Billy's having fun too. Oh, wow. Well, just whack it on the cross corner there. Can you Grady. make that ball cross corner without yeah. kissing it? Can yeah. You? Yeah. With uh, a lot of right spin. Wow. Right spin. Wow. I wouldn't think he, that ball he, could go without being kissed. He probably won't do it, but you can make it with right spin. And hit the 11. Wow. You would hit the 11. Wow. But, like Grady says, it is a shot fraught with peril. <laughs> I love that saying. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's thinking about kicking at it. He's thinking very seriously about kicking at the ball, going one rail. That's the safest way to go. And going this way at it. Oh, boy, look here. Going that way at it. No, it was out a little too far for that, I thought. There's a 10 ball. 
and he can come across for the 14. I believe. Well, Billy is in I, the driver's seat. He needs uh, one. I think I'd shoot the five here, hey, even though the 14 is all boy. He needs one ball. And he'll shoot at the ball that's the easiest to make. Yeah. 14. Fourteen. And the winner. And the winner. Billy in Cardona. Now remember. It was close and hard fought. It was. Right. Well, I gotta win the game, okay? That's all. Mr. Billy in Cardona. How about a nice Oh yeah, there. See, Grady shot the shot. He, he shot the shot. And it went in. Shoot, and it went in. Man. Okay, he wanted to shoot it. To yeah. Okay, we're going to interview Grady first. I have to give the best man credit. He shot better than I did, and he deserved to win. I didn't feel like I played very well. Uh, I'd like to have one shot back. Uh, all of my professional career, guys that shoot that two-railer, that's a bad shot. Now, I got back in that game where I only we need one apiece, and I should have just played safe there, right? Because that could have cost me the match. I shot a dumb shot, and I thought you shot that me. shot a little too fast. Well, yeah, I you, did. You just fell down well, a little too quick. Buddy, I had my mind made up today to have a lot of fun. I, I came to, uh, uh, you know, to play a little aggressively, and I, I don't want to bunt and squeeze and pinch. I wanted to have a little fun. And, yeah. Uh, and I felt like I had a good chance to make it. I just didn't hit it very well. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. anyway, uh, I, I say in all humility, he was the best man today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Greg. <laughs> Okay, where is Billy in Cardona? Where's, where's, there's Billy, all right. Okay, what well, do you have to say? Well, all I can say is I don't think either one of us played very good. And, uh, well, there was reasons, reasons behind that. You know, this has been a rivalry now for a long time, and we've been waiting for this match. And neither one of us responded well to the pressure. I know I certainly didn't. This was my, definitely my worst match of the tournament. I definitely had my dog stroke, and I was still able to beat him. <laughs> you know? but that's He'll be was, glad. I'm sure he didn't play. I'm sure he had his dog stroke too. You know, <laughs> he, he jumped out of me two nothing. You know, but I I, uh, I came back. You know, uh, the the second game there, uh, or the was it the third game? It was a game where he had clawed his way back to where you both needed one. Right. And he just took a, he just fell down real fast. He banked the one straight back. Then he fell down real fast, shot the two-railer in the corner, let the cue ball get away. It went two rails in the right. corner, and he come up real short on the six ball, I believe it was. Uh, I felt like that that might have been uh, the ball of the match right there. Well, it probably was, you know. I, but that's just, that's just his nature. You know, that's the way he plays, quite <laughs> frankly. That's the way, you know that's the way he plays. You know, he's liable to beat anybody in the world, and then he's liable to do something like that. You know, I mean, he's a great player. Don't get me wrong. He is a great right? player. I understand But I exactly feel that that's a weak part of his game. Now, if I would tell him that, he would get mad at me. So that's why I'm going to tell you that <laughs> and you and you and you. <laughs> okay. We you have know? been looking forward to that match. We finally got to see it. Congratulations. Good luck in the finals with Mr. Dave Bowman. Best of luck to you. And uh, one time, Billy, it's been a pleasure watching you and Grady play. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Uh, it really wasn't a great match. But it, it it was fun after it was over. It was it was fun to watch and fun to commentate. Uh, okay. okay. Thanks right. a lot, buddy. All right. Thank you one more time. Uh, okay. To rem remember, for the AccuStats videos, this is the Pro Tour videos. Dial 1-800-828-0397. For my very best friend, W.W. Woody, and myself, thank you very much, and goodbye. Goodbye.